Thank you guys for coming. I owe a lot from you guys because you were the wind beneath my wings. Wow. Wow. It's a Monday afternoon, evening, and you're all here supporting Noble Creations as always. And I'm very thankful. And I wish you will always be uh, with Noble Creations with a lot more offenders that will be that will go on their thing. But today is actually the launching of our very first ambassador of Noble Creations. And I'm proud to say that we picked a handsome, very upright man in the name of Mr. Anchong Di. Hi everyone, good afternoon again. Thank you very much for being here. I'm very happy because um, we are all here for Kuya Amiel. And I am so proud that there is a Filipino brand, a Filipino outfit that we can be proud as Filipino. And um, that's true. I always admire those businessmen who dive into, you know, um, a business that could be a risk. But here we are. We're all here. And also, I am I'm very proud to be the first ambassador of uh, Nogo Creation. I'm actually very pressured, but, you know, I, I'm more than willing to help this brand to grow and be known not only here in Los Angeles, but the whole America. And... Uh, Represent! Yeah. Represent! Diba? Be proud to be a Filipino and um, thank you very much for trusting this um, responsibility to me. So, how did you first hear about Abiel and about uh, Noble Creations? Um, it was during the Manila International Film Fest early this year wherein I would see um, some of my friends wear Noble Creation and I was like, wow, you can actually get a barong here in California. Mm -hmm. And I am so happy because even in the Philippines, it's so hard to find something with quality and something that would, you know, match your energy when it comes to dressing up, especially in barong. And then I saw um, the Noble Creation because my friend B-Boy was wearing it during that time. And I was so happy because it's cool. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's something that resonates with, with where I am right now. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's something that I'm also very uh, proud to wear mm -hmm. anywhere, in, uh, especially with um, International Film Fest abroad. It's like the first time they see you, they know exactly. It's a Filipino. You, you're wearing a Filipino creation. Yeah. And so what was your reaction when you first found out that uh, they were considering you, they were asking you to be the first ever face of Noble Creations? Um, I told I told B-Boy, who else are they choosing? Let me bump them off. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to make this happen. No, it's, it's, it's really such a good opportunity for me to, you know, bring the name not only here in America, but also in the Philippines. And I hear that they're also still looking for the female mm -hmm. face of Noble Creations. Do you have any suggestions? Right here. Not to put you on the spot, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's funny because when when I was in um, when I was growing up in the province, Denita Rose is someone that wow. I would look up to. No, no, cause cause really she was she was a face in the south Southeast Asian region. You know it, and every time that I would I uh, would hear her, her name, I was like, oh my gosh, an international celebrity that is a Filipina. So you know, and I know that um, Ate Denita is always here and also. Every time that she would have a an event here in America, she would always carry Noble Creation. So I, I wouldn't be shocked if it's gonna be at the Denita Rose. Yeah. 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 I, my nickname is D. 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 I was also D and Anchong D. Now Anchong D. Pagkano dito ka sa California? What are your favorite places to visit? Besides Noble Creation, um, I, I, it's funny because before flying here, I was telling my friend Bibo, I was like, the only thing I wanna do is sleep and eat Mexican food. Oh. Yeah, so I'm so happy that um, like a couple of nights ago, we were able to eat in the, like the street, the, 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 the two dollar tacos and all that. Like I was like, ah, this is something I was looking forward to it because back home, it's so hard to find the Mexican food. Right. Yeah. And also, you will get the chance later to get up close and personal with Encho, but right now I can't help but notice the skin. What's your skincare? Skincare routine. It's funny because um, the California weather is very dry. Yeah. So when I got here, I was like, oh, it, it, it feels different. Um, 
if back home one moisturizer moisturizer is enough, here I need to put three yes. plus sunblock. So you know, um, just apply everything in. Mention <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, on the horizon for you, 2025, any projects? Right now, um, I'm so glad because I'm part of a project that Netflix, Netflix released worldwide. Um, it's called Outside. It's ongoing now, and then I I hope I'll be back um, by January for. Manila International Film Fest. One of our films made it. And also, I I will be shooting my first international film this end of November. And um, she's, she's a French director that would have a story in the Philippines. So I'm looking forward to that. And also come the second quarter of th or third quarter of next, actually second quarter of next year, we'll be showing the Philippine adaptation of It's Okay to Not Be Okay, okay. in the Philippines, yeah. Wow. Thank you so much for gracing our occasion. Thank you so much for agreeing to be the face of Amya. You are watching So Janelle on TFC, ANC, KXLA, I Want TFC, and even on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. This is your weekly dose of Filipino stories of immigration and representation. If you're just joining us, we are coming to you today from Artesia, California, from Noble Creations, uh, Filipiniana and Barong. They have introduced to us their brand ambassador for the year. But you know, when we interviewed Amiel um, earlier, Amiel Noble, who is the owner and founder and designer of Noble Creations, he talked to us about the importance of the support of community. And here at his special event, we have some of the prominent Filipino-Americans in Southern California coming out, um, attending this event to support him. Let's meet them. I actually met Amiel when I walked into his store. I just saw a Barong um, sign outside, and I said to my husband, we should go inside and take a look and see if they have stuff, because we do a lot of events. And I looked around and I met him, and he was super kind, and he uh, offered to sponsor clothes. He said, hey, if you need uh, clothes for events. So I've been coming back ever since. In fact, the first time that I posted what we wore. Ang daming inquiries. So it kind of became a, a thing now na every time I post about his clothes, I get a lot of inquiries. The thing is, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a modern girl. I don't want like the traditional looking thing and that might work for some people, but for me, I want more modern designs and it's hard to find that in this day and age. So I'm really glad that Amiel came up with his, uh, his brand, uh, Noble Creations. It sounds really catchy too, like, ooh, what is that? Um, but in fact, I even offered to him to, to collaborate together. I mean, I'm not a designer, but uh, I definitely have this uh, hidden passion for sewing and upscaling clothes. I love to upscale. So uh, he, he told me, I didn't forget what you said. Next year, we're going to work on doing a collaboration together. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm, I started including a meal in my fashion shows to give him platform also in the mainstream Los Angeles Fashion Week. Since the inclusion of a meal in my part of my team for Noble Creation, people are raving about it. I help him, and he has the heart of helping and continuing the the culture of the embroidery, especially the embroidery capital of the Philippines. And that's the reason why, and we love him. And to continue the legacy of the, our culture. So yeah, I, I will always support Amiel. And the thing that I like about him is like he says he wants to keep the art of Barong making going. He wants to teach the younger generation. He said he would even pay them. Yeah, it's true, because I, I don't know if it's like a dying art, because who of the younger generation is really picking up the mantle to do this? And so, I really like Amiel for so many reasons. I always continue to support Amiel. It's because he supports the Filipino culture. I can't even do that. So, for me to support him, parang sino support ang kung yung kultura natin.
Well, there you have it, guys. I hope today's show has inspired you, encouraged you, and helped you learn more about stories of immigration and representation. If you want more, we are always on on our social media platforms. We have a YouTube channel, at Sojanel TV. We are also available on Facebook and on Instagram. And of course, on TV, TFC, ANC, and KXLA Channel 44. In fact, I'll see you again next week. Same time, same channel. I'm your host, Janelle So, and this has been So Janelle.